Hello dear viewers and welcome back to Hurilla. Today in this video I'll be talking about the dashboard which you can find inside the leave module of Hurilla. So let's move on to the video. So first of all let's select the leave module. So this is the leave module and I'm selecting it. And under the leave module you can see a sub menu which is called dashboard. So I'm clicking on the dashboard. So basically there are two types of dashboard which is the admin dashboard as well as the personal dashboard. Now currently you are viewing the admin dashboard okay if you want to switch on to personal dashboard that is also possible here i'll show you before that let's see what are the things which an admin can find inside the dashboard okay so here in the admin dashboard you have things like request to approve approved leave in this month as well as the rejected leave in this month now this will basically show the count of each now here you can see there is one request which is to be approved of the admin okay and then you have one leave which is approved this month for this person as well as the leave which is rejected this month okay so all the counts corresponding to this can be seen here or the admin will get the count here okay and here comes the employee leave section where you get a graph of the leaves taken by the employees okay so you can see number of days they take the leave okay and the name of the employee as well as the type so here it is a casual leave which is taken by abigail so this is based on this date you can actually change the month now i'm changing it to a different month you can see two people are leave i mean have taken leave on this particular month so similarly you can change the you know month or the year and get the you know number of days that different employees has taken leave and what kind of leave they have taken now here in this case you can see sarah as well as jonathan both of them have taken casual leave and that too for one day. So the number of days, the employees, the type of leave, everything can be got or by just taking a look at the employees leave section. So you can simply specify the, you know, uh, month or the year and based on that, the data will be fetched. Okay, so that's a really interesting, you know, thing which you can find inside the dashboard. Next, you have a section called on leave. So this basically shows the people who are on leave at the present, that is today. If you take today, today Abigail is on leave. Okay, so people who are absent on that particular day will be shown here. So this day only one person is absent. That's why this Abigail's name is displayed here on the on leave section. Now you have this upcoming holiday session. Now you can see no more holidays scheduled for this month. So the holidays which are coming on that respective month will be shown here and here you can see the next holiday it's irrespective of the month you can see the next holiday which comes is on october 2nd okay so which is for gandhi jayandi okay so the date the year and the next holiday and all will be denoted here on the dashboard of the leave okay now if you simply scroll down you have much more data there comes the department leaves Okay, so the leaves will be actually picturized based on the department. So you can see for sales department, one leave is there on this particular month. Now I'm changing the month to a different one. So there also you can see for software department, two people were leave on this particular month. So similarly, you can change the months and see the department wise leave analysis. Okay, now here comes the leave type. Okay, so here you have the casual leave. Okay, so one person has taken casual leave on this particular month. I'm just changing it to a different one. So you can see there are two people who have taken casual leave. Okay, so this shows the count of leaves corresponding to the leave type. The only thing you have to do is specify the month and the year here. Okay, next you have the leave analytics of the weekly. I mean the weekly leave analytics. Okay. So it shows the different date, the leave trends and all. Okay, so based on the data which is there in the dashboard, this analytics will be generated. Okay, so that's the, uh, you know, admin dashboard. Now let's switch on to the personal dashboard. So I'm going to the personal dashboard here. Okay, so here also you have this next holiday, the upcoming holiday. Okay, that's a really important thing, right? So the holidays can be seen here. So this is the next common holiday, which is on october 2nd and here comes the upcoming holiday which is scheduled for this particular month okay and then you have this available leaves so you have sick leaves how many leaves are available for you right now so you can see 10 sick leaves are i mean 10 sick leaves are available for you and here you can see only 
one casual leave is available okay this actually gives us an idea on how much leave we have okay how much days we have taken how much leaves is available for us that can be easily identified using this graph okay next you has this total leave request so on this particular month how many you know leave requests you have sent that can be seen here if you just change the month and see you have one again so you can change and see on this month you have never taken a leave okay so based on the month or you know the date you specify the leaves can easily be tracked okay then you have the rejected request right now the approved approved request as well as the new requests okay so all these things are here in the you know um personal dashboard and we have talked about the admin dashboard as well now you can see a plus icon over here which is basically the quick actions okay so if you click on that you can see which is to create an attendance request so this is uh you know to add an attendance request then you have this to create a leave request you can create shift request create work type request you can create reimbursements create asset request create ticket and dashboard charts can be seen here okay so that's basically a quick action i have just uh, you know ran into it because i saw it so these are the main and important things which you can find inside the dashboard of the leave okay so don't forget that we have two different views for the leave dashboard which is an admin dashboard as well as a personal dashboard so it's a really interesting feature which you can find inside horilla i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next video